Welcome to Law at the Margins Right to a Home event. My name is Shamtoli Hat. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Law at the Margins. Law at the Margins is an innovative law and media nonprofit whose mission is to uplift and amplify the voices of marginalized communities around various social justice issues. We're very excited for today's event where we spotlight the concerns of homelessness and housing, which is a national crisis. Before I turn over um, the uh, turn over to Eric Ortiz, who is the executive editor of our of this project, I want to go over the agenda for um, today. So we will um, start off uh, with introductions from our partners on, on this project. There are street newspapers throughout the country. After the introductions, we will start with our first panel, which looks at race, COVID, and health. And after that first panel, we will have a break. And then we will uh, follow that up with a second panel that looks at the solutions to homelessness coming from grassroots housing and homeless organizers. After the second panel, we'll have a breakout session. This will be an opportunity for each of you to share the work that you're doing in your locality and to crowdsource some ideas of solutions. We'll reconvene in a final session where we'll hear remarks from the UN Special Rapporteur, uh, Professor Rajagopal, on adequate housing. And we'll end the day. As we're going through and listening to the panelists, we encourage you to use the chat feature on Zoom. Uh, I will see you there. Introduce yourselves. Let us know the work that you're doing, what interests you in this, uh, in our event. And if you are on social media and specifically Twitter, please use hashtag right to a home or use the hashtag housing as a human right. Um, we're really excited for the day, and I'd like to turn this over to Eric. Thank you. Thank you, Shamtoli. Thank you all for joining us. We're really excited to uh, have everyone here for this event. I'm the editor of Community-Based Newsroom. It's a project at Law at the Margins, and uh, we did a series called The Right to a Home. It started, uh, this, we got this idea. Our, our work is, is grounded in raising up the voices of marginalized communities and people whose voices uh, don't always, aren't always part of the traditional media. Uh, and so we wanted to work with the homeless community for this project. Uh, it was started, um, we had this idea, and this, the way this story came about uh, is started working with Alistair. I was put in connection with Alistair Boone, who's the editor of Street Spirit, and she helped uh, us um, get other collaborators, um, other partners. So we had four partners, uh, Street Papers for this, and and we worked together to cover issues that are relevant to, to the homeless. Uh, you know, it, it was, uh, we published eight stories in December and December, 2019. And, and this is, this, this webinar is part of that project. Um, we're gonna have, uh, you know, we want this to be a very interactive event. Uh, that helps continue the work we did with that project. You know, it's all about finding solutions to the problem of homelessness. It's still a huge problem, as everyone knows. Everyone is doing great work. Um, and we wanted to bring people together who have lived experience and also who are um, allies and working to organize and working to find solutions and policies that can help uh, end this housing crisis. Um, so that's why we're here. Uh, we're gonna have uh, all of the, the editors from the partner papers give a, an introduction to the work they did, and then we're gonna jump right into um, our event today. 
Um, you know, we want everyone to participate um, in the chat and we're gonna have breakout sessions so everyone can contribute. But thank you all for being here and we look forward to having a great event. Thank you, Eric, very much. Um, this is Eric Falcaro. I'm the editorial director for DC's street paper, uh, Street Sense Media. Um, we've been operating here for since 2003. And uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with a, a street paper, um, they're mostly publications sold by people who are homeless or formerly homeless um, as a direct source of income. And most papers focus their reporting on social justice issues, particularly as they intersect with poverty and they serve as a platform for homeless and formerly homeless writers. Um, so through this uh, project, we've been grateful to be a part of it. Um, and uh, we focused our reporting on homeless encampments uh, in, in the DC area, as well as um, the importance of listening to people with lived experience, the ex expertise of people who have been homeless and have been through the various systems that the, the policies um, that our local government makes affect directly. Um, Street Sense Media also has a, uh, a case management program to help folks with uh, connecting to housing, healthcare, and other benefits. Um, and we also produce, uh, in addition to the, the paper, um, films, original theater, um, podcasts, and other media. Um, thank you all very much. Hi, I'm Amanda Haggard from uh, The Contributor in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we're also a street paper, been around since 2007. Um, had quite a journey, went from newspaper to magazine, uh, back to newspaper print. Uh, we're a bi-weekly paper. Uh, we brought on two of our vendors as part of this project to write two stories for uh, the Right to a Home project. The first one was on the criminalization of homelessness, um, sort of a wide reaching issue, look at some solutions in Nashville and outside of Nashville. Uh, the second piece we wrote uh, were, uh, looked at healthcare, um, and how it can both um, cause and exacerbate homelessness. Um, our two uh, writers who are formerly homeless, uh, Vicki Thatcher and Jennifer Alexander, um, did a great job on that. And we were really happy to be able to kind of showcase the work that um, they do for us all the time um, in, in more of a, uh, a broad way. Uh, thanks for having us today. This has been a really fun project for us. Hi, I'm Suzanne Tanny. I'm the editor of Streetwise Magazine in Chicago. We date to 1992. We also have been a newspaper and a magazine, and we provide social services, and we are a weekly. This was a great project for us to go more in depth on stories that uh, we wouldn't have had time to do otherwise. We got a little extra help, and we also built up our vendor, Lee A. Holmes, who helped with the reporting on two stories that we did. The first, was on food insecurity. We talked to the Greater Chicago Food Depository, which is the local branch of Feeding America. They've had an extended role now since COVID, since our story. Uh, we talked to other solutions to food insecurity, such as Growing Home, Farm on Ogden, other urban ag agriculture projects that maybe make food more cheaper and more accessible. And uh, Lee talked about some of the programs he used. There is a website that they have that the Food Depository created to help people find uh, soup kitchens, et cetera, rather than the tramp trail, so to speak. The second story we did was on veteran homelessness. Lee and I went to the VA hospital, the Jesse Brown VA Med Center, and we talked to Veterans Strike Force about um, veterans trying to find housing, basically just needing having not made enough money to live in a gentrifying city and we also talked to civic officials about housing we're really honored to be part of this project and we're glad for today's developments which take it in new directions since the COVID crisis thank you hi everyone um, my name is Alistair I edit Street Spirit which is the homeless advocacy newspaper based in Berkeley California um, and Oakland California um, uh, this project has been such a pleasure to work on. It's really fun to kind of unite these four street papers all over the country. And um, I think that the stories we put out present a really clear picture of the distinct issues, but also the common themes that we are facing when it comes to the crisis of homelessness in the U.S. Um, so I'm excited to continue that work today by bringing together organizers and unsheltered people from four cities. Um, 
So a little bit about Street Spirit. Um, we are a monthly newspaper sold in mostly Berkeley and Oakland, California. Um, we've been around since 1995. I myself have been editing just for the last two years. Um, our publisher is a nonprofit called Youth Spirit Artworks, which um, is an art and jobs training program for homeless and low income youth. Um, and Street Spirit, like these other papers, uh, is written kind of by and for unhoused people as well as their advocates and allies. Um, we're very deeply committed to reporting rigorous stories about the politics and policy that impacts the homeless community, as well as humanizing personal essays and poetry and um, sometimes even fiction. Um, and our mission is to create economic opportunity for unsheltered people who sell our paper while also providing a platform where those folks can um, kind of take control of their own narrative. So I'm really looking forward to the event today and um, thank you all for having me.